Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about what is a proportion, which we've gone over in the vocab video, but we'll do it again. Proportion is just a big old fancy word for equal fractions or ratios. A lot of people say equal ratios as well. Okay, so an example of a proportion is one-half and two-fourths. Two-fourths simplifies down to one-half. These are equal. They are the same thing. So this is considered a proportion. So most of what you're going to have to do, though, is determine if given two fractions or two ratios, are they a proportion, yes or no. Now, this one, I've already told you yes, but let's say you didn't know. There's a couple different ways you can do it. The first is you can simplify one of the fractions to see if it simplifies down to the other. So if I simplify two-fourths down, I get one-half. So that way I know, yes, it is a fraction. Now that's pretty simple to do here, but if I give you something like one-third and 17 over 51, the simplifying may not look as appealing as it does for this problem. Um, another thing you can do is mental math. You can say, hey, I know I would take 2 times 2 to get 4. So if I take 1 times 2, do I also get 2? Yes. So the, again, this is a proportion, kind of that mental math type thing. The third way is probably the way you're going to use for ones like this that you don't know the mental math off the top of your head. And that's what we call cross products. So basically, if you have a proportion, if it is a proportion, then your cross products, 2 times 2, has to equal the other cross products of 4 times 1. This is called a means and extremes property. You don't have to know that, but if it comes up, that's what it means. These are your means and these are your extremes. You're just multiplying them. If the two products are the same, then yes, it's a proportion. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, so since these are equal, we would say, yes, it is a proportion. So let's try that method with this one, where, again, I probably am not going to choose mental math. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the cross products. So does 3 times 17 equal the same thing as 1 times 51? Well, I happen to know, but if you don't use your calculator, 3 times 17 is 51. 1 times 51 is 51. So since this is equal, yes, this is a proportion. Okay, we can try another one. Okay, so now we're looking at this fraction. Again, I could do mental math. Um, 5 times 2. I know 5 times 2 gives me 10, so what does 28 times 2 give me? 28 times 2 is 56, not 52. So that would tell me, no, this is not a proportion. However, if I don't want to use mental math, I can do cross products. I can take 10 times 28 and see, is that the same as 52 times 5? 10 times 28 is 280, 52 times 5 is 260. These are not equal, so again, no, this is not a proportion. And that's all you have to do to determine if two fractions are a proportion or not.